The first time I rode the double shot and the typhoon of the shockwave by Milo Morris. I've been going to Santa Cruz since I was a baby. At first I could only ride the little kid rides, but every year I got to ride more and more rides. But there was one ride I was very scared at. It was called the double shot. It was 125 feet tall and blue and had the American flag on the top. I was very scared to ride that thing. One night, I was standing on the beach next to the boardwalk. I heard the noises of the double shot so much. I will do it, I said. My mother was so proud of me. So I went on the double shot the next day with my earmuffs so I could not hear the loud noises. I was always afraid of loud noises. I hated the fire alarms at school and I still hate it. Whenever school opens again, I will not want to hear fire alarms. When I was a toddler, I was screaming so loud when, hand, when the hand dryers went off in the restroom because it was so loud. But I'm okay with them now. The double shot went up very fast and down very fast. It did that only about four times until it was over. I thought that was really fun. After we got off, it took us into a little gift shop. We did not buy anything from the gift shop though. And then I decided to go on the double shot again. That was the last time I did it. We went into the gift shop again and passed it again. Another time I was at Santa Cruz, I went on the typhoon. I thought it was so scary that I started to cry. I went upside down and then right side up. It kept doing that. The only thing not to scare me was to, to just close my eyes. I did not close my eyes though. When I got off, I started to cry so much and we, just went on a ride that I enjoyed. That is when I first got on the double shot and the typhoon. But wait, what about the shock wave? We haven't talked about that yet. Okay, here is that story. I rode the undertow. When I got off, I looked at the shock wave. People were riding it and having so much fun. My mom thought it was so much fun. I will ride that, I said. Me and my mom got on and my dad watched from below. At first, the ride was boring. It went left and right. But then, it started to go faster and higher. It was insane, but I thought it was scary when I did it. Not like the double shot when it was fun. All I could do was close my eyes, just like the typhoon. When me and my mom got off, we rode it one more time. That was the last time, just like the double shot. Then we made my day better with my mom and dad. The end. The Origination of Dylan by me. A long time ago, I was going to originally make a TV show called My Lonely Apartment. And, and I, I worked on it. A few times I started working on like an episode one, but never got one. And one time I worked on episode one, and I needed myself to call someone, and I needed to make up a character. So what came to my head is Dylan. I didn't have the looks for him yet, and I didn't have his voice yet. So when I made Dylan, hello, are you there? And I made him say that, his voice was originally high pitch. Hello, are you there? But then turned to low pitch. Then Originally, his design was going to be the Rage Dylan that you see in Good Galaxy Episode 5, the Grand Finale, but then it changed to its design you know today. So that's the original That's where Dylan came from. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe and thumb down and leave a like. Bye. Welcome back to Milo Stories. <laughs> and today's episode, I'm going to tell you how we got Ruth. So it all started when I was at school. When I was doing my homework, I, I was about to get picked up, they were bringing me to get a dog. I was busy doing my homework, and here's what it's like. Milo, let's go, let's pick up a dog. Hang on, I'm doing my homework. How close are you even? You must not be even close, ha <laughs> ha. Okay, finished, now let's go. Yeah, it went kind of crazy. So, I was doing my homework. When I finished, we went over to the San Francisco SPCA. We looked at dogs, one of them was trying to be like one of them wanted us to take him, I think. But when we 
we saw in three screens Princess. And then we went into a little area. She tested, she checked with us. She saw who was like and the person that helped us just walked away. And then um, we took her home. That's it, guys. Bye! Welcome back to Milo Stories. <laughs> All right, in today's episode, we're going to tell you about the saddest thing ever, Mitty's death. So guys, if you didn't know, Mitty died all the way back in December 23rd, 2020. And we're really wishing we wanted him back, so here's how it happened. And I think the reason was he got cancer. So what we did was we went back on our porch and we watched him give Mitty a shot and he went to sleep and then they and then he died. But that's it. Bye. Welcome back to Milo Stories. We've already made a How We Got Reese story. So now we're going to make a How We Got Steve story. So how it happened was that we were planning on getting a cat and we annoyed Seb, the annoying creature, to get a cat. And what happened was we had to go get him because... The amazing days of Kitty Baby, Baby Lady, also known as my mom, was actually getting a cat already. So we had to go, and originally going to be Brian, but he already got adopted by accident, so we got a cat named Schultzy, but his name is now Steve. But that's it for today's episode, guys. Bye.